everyone, it's Jenny Hammerpee here today and I'm going to be showing you how to do a French plait. So I've actually had a request to do this. Um, I thought everyone should know how to do a French plait. Obviously I'm, I'm going to do two. Um, but yeah, I think hopefully after this you'll have some guidance and you'll be able to rock the plaits yourself. Um, so they're really it's simple to do once you know how. And you can make them messy for a more casual look, or you can do them nice and tight for a more glamorous look. So you can dress them up and down, and they're really nice to keep your hair tidy and out of the way, but you still look really lovely with them in. So uh, there we are, hopefully, this will give you some help. Um, so I'm going to start by dividing my hair in half. So I've done that already. The easiest way to do this is just to brush it all and just get a comb and then do that by the centre of your head. Uh, I normally use my nose as a guideline, but this is slightly off centre actually, so you know, do whatever you like. And then um, you have to brush your hair. I cannot stress this enough, well this isn't particularly an issue with me. Make sure there are no knots or anything in there, because then um, it might cause problems later on. I don't know if this is so much of an issue with uh, shorter hair, but I really, you know, it has to be lovely. Um, and then we can begin. Oh, so there we are. So I'm going to start on my left hand side. So I think to you that's the right. I don't really know whether my camera flips it or not. This is just my phone actually. Thank you, Apple. But okay. So I'm going to begin. Here I am, just ducking. Um, so you take this, and if you were to move your hand across your forehead and gather a load of hair, so I don't know if you can see me. Um, that is the section you want to use first. So just this little blobby bit here. It's like a, you've got, it's like a sort of square. So you've got your square here, top of it there, okay? So you want this section, so again, this bit here is your starting point. Oh, my ankle just went. Ooh. Okay, so with this section, you want to divide it into three. So you've got it's one here, one, two, and three. No. Okay, so I have, I'm holding one bit with my forehand, using my first and second finger, my thumb and uh, index finger to hold the middle section, and I've got my entire right hand holding this outer section. And what I'm going to do this is the best bit, <laughs> is take this outer section in my right hand and pinch the middle section with my index and thumb and pull the first over the second. Okay, so I'm going to show you that again. This bit, once you get this bit, then hopefully you can, you know, find the rest easy. So I'm going to get this outer section here and pull it over the middle. So now the mid what was the middle is now my outer section and what was the front is now my middle and the back's the back. Okay, so one more time. I'm just going to gather my hair, split it into three, and do that one. And pull the outer section over the middle. Then I'm going to grab the outer section, the new outer section, and some extra of my hair. Okay. After I've pulled the third section over the middle, and then I add more hair to the middle. So every time you cross something over, add some more hair. So I'm crossing and then adding. I'm crossing and then adding. Okay? And then you just continue this all down your head.
you're really cute little bunchy. It's a little flat thing. <laughs> yeah, my dad's, my dad, whenever he goes on Christmas trip when I was a kid, he'd always pop into Claire's and he'd pick me up some cute little bunchies. So, I've still got some left over. I've left quite a big sort of tail at the end here. Um, obviously, if you want to have a pat all the way down to the bottom, then that's absolutely fine. But it just takes me ages, so I've just left a bit on. Okay, so that's one side done. I know my pat looks a bit funky. But that's because I've used different size strands because I was just thinking of something else, and I can show. You, I'll show you in, in another video how to do that. So I'm going to show you once again on my right side how to do this French plait. So if you didn't pick it up when, when I did the first side, I'll show it to you now. So what we're going to do, we're going to brush our hair. We're going to brush it free so it's no knots because if, you get, if you're up the top and you're gathering hair and then you reach a knot, you're not going to have enough hands to, un, you know, to undo the knot unless someone else is doing it for you and that would be quite nice. But I don't know how many people wake up and have like maids doing their hair. I, I can't fancy that, I'm nice. Do you have my breakfast? Okay. Right, what's the best angle? So why don't we have a mirror right now? So um, let's just hope for the best. Oh, I need to darken it. So I'm going to gather some hair. New one. I'm just going to... Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to gather your hair like so. You split it into three sections. One, two, three. And then you fold the first over the middle and gather. And then the third over the middle and gather. And you want to repeat that all the way down. this one over the middle and yeah that's it outer over the middle inner over the middle outer over the middle and then you just plait the rest so you put the outer strand over the middle strand and just repeat First of all, um, like I said, I did do it without a mirror, and that is, well, is, I've never realised how difficult it is to sort of talk as doing as you're doing something multitasking. I mean, I'm obviously I can do plats for well, I've done them all my life, but uh, I don't know, just having to describe the process without a mirror, it's just like, ooh, I did it. But um, also, this is sort of to show, like, this is more of a dressed down version, like, I, I, sorry, I keep saying like, well, um, I would go out to town or something with my hair like this um, because it's, you know, you can pancake it if you want to. So, about pancaking, you, for those of you who don't know, is when you just pull out bits of your hair like that to make it bigger and flatter. So these bits, I know it just looks really messy, but eventually um, my hair will sort of fall out a bit, you know, throughout the day I just get fine ways, and then it all looks 
which is nice because it will match and you've got this bit. Otherwise, you can just pin it. I'll do that in a second. Um, I will just put photos at the end. But there you are. So that's how you do um, a French plait. I do hope, Ariane, that, that was helpful to you. Uh, any questions, and I will um, obviously reply. Just leave a comment below or whatever you want to do. Um, obviously, on Twitter, it's me. Um, and yes, I do hope that that was helpful. Um, finally, I just wanted to say if you like the makeup I'm wearing, do watch my other video. It's the Autumn Shimmer makeup tutorial. Um, my 